What's up, Wayne Barron here with Dark Fix Studios, and we are inside of the Windows 10 SDK. And what we gotta do here is that we need to install a component into our Windows 2016 servers without installing all of the stuff that is not needed. And so what we gotta do is that we need to install the gacutility.exe file. So we don't need to install everything that comes with the SDK. We only need what we need. So let's go ahead and click on next here. And you can get this by coming over here to the developers. I'll have this link in the description below. You can come over here and you can download it and just choose to download the ISO file. And you, you can probably just do the installer, but I went ahead and downloaded the ISO file. It's better for working with networking. And so we're going to leave this. We're going to choose no because I'm not really concerned with sending any information back to them. Click on accept. And then we're just going to uncheck everything. Except that. We're going to uncheck everything because all this stuff is not needed. So the only thing that we need is just this right here. So it brought it from 2 point something gigs all the way down to 109.4 megabytes. So let's go ahead and choose install. Okay, so right there is the file that we want, and that just got installed. Let's go ahead and choose close right here. And now what we got to do is that we need to copy this address. Just right-click on it and choose copy. And now we're going to right-click, and we're going to open a command prompt as admin. Choose yes. And we're just going to go ahead and navigate to this location. That way we're already there. And then we're going to come over here. We're going to go inside of this folder, and we want this information right here. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And so we want to copy this, because the file, my mouse is messing up. The file that we want is the id 3 taglibrarydll It's going to come right here. And then we're going to hit enter, and it's going to successfully register that. Now, since we're already in this location, we can now come over here and take this. We're going to copy that one, and then we're going to paste that in, and then that's going to successfully add it to the cache. And then we're going to come right here, and then we're going to paste that one in, and now we got our assembly. So all of our information is there and we are ready to roll now this information is going to be different on everybody's system that is how you add this to your windows server there's probably a better way to do this to install these files but this right here works great for what i need it for all right i am wayne baron this is dark fake studios i hope this helps y'all out y'all have a good one now bye bye